Okay, everyone, we're going to write a quadratic equation that has the given roots. So the first one, and there's two separate problems here, is this one, and then there's this one. So we're doing this one first. We have solution 1 equals 7i, and solution 2 equals uh, negative 7i. So the first thing we want to do is um, use our sum and product of roots by adding these up. So we're adding our solution 1 plus our solution 2. Now that's going to be 7i uh, minus 7i. That gives us 0. That is supposed to be negative b divided by a. We're not sure what our a is yet. So we get our a from this piece. So let's see what our a is going to be. Um, we have to multiply these two. So that's going to be 7i times negative 7i, which gives you negative 49i squared. Well, i squared equals negative 1. So this is going to be uh, negative 49 times negative 1. So this just equals 49. And 49 is your, let's write it here, 49 is your c divided by a. So when I put this in fraction form, that means my A is 1. So I'm going to put a 1 here. Your A's always have to match. So if they don't match, you have to make a match. So now we have A is 1, B is going to be 0, and C is 49. So when you write this out, you're going to get X squared plus 0X plus 49 equals 0. We don't want, um, let's see, we don't want this zero. So let's just uh, fix this and write it as x squared plus 49 equals zero. And that is your final answer. Now let's go move on to the second problem. We have solution one equals two plus square root of 10 divided by five and solution two equals 2 minus square root of 10 divided by 5. Now we're going to add them to get our negative b divided by a. So solution 1 plus solution 2. My common denominator is 5. Oh, I'm trying to go too fast. So minus square root of 10 all divided by 5 because that's your common denominator. The, uh, the square root of 10s go away, so you get two-fifths, or four-fifths, sorry. And that's going to be your um, negative b divided by a. All right, now let's multiply these two. So we get 2 plus square root of 10 divided by 5 times... 2 minus square root of 10 divided by 5. So what's going to happen is this is going to give you um, 25 in the denominator. And we're using this formula to uh, write this as a squared minus b squared. So what you do is you take your 2, square it for minus uh, square root of 10 times the square root of 10 is just 10. So this is going to be negative 6 divided by 25. This is your C divided by A. Now in this case, what happens is your A's do not match. So to make them match, they have to match. What you're going to do is take this 5, because it's smaller, and make it a 25. So what we're doing is we're multiplying this by 25, by 5. So we also have to multiply the numerator by 25. So that's going to be 20. Just make sure always that your A's match. So now we do have our A equals 25. Our B, our negative B equals 20. So B equals negative 20. And C equals negative 6. So now we can write out our quadratic equation. And that's going to be uh, 25x squared minus 20x minus 6 
equals zero. And that is your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.